Hey you at home, this is going to be a tutorial on setting up, in my opinion, the best external capture card for console gaming, specifically targeting the PS5, the Ava Media Live Gamer Bolt. So if you found your way to this video, you might be wondering the following. What do I need to use this capture card? How do I set it up and start game capture? Or why is my Ava Media dead and totally unresponsive when I plug it into my Thunderbolt 3 or 4 port? I'm going to take you through step by step and hopefully guide you in whether you're trying to make an informed consumer decision of buying this capture card or already have and are wondering how to set it up or have encountered some difficulties along the way. So if you're one of those people who have bought this capture card but can't seem to get it working or unsure of certain settings, bear with me as I try and break it down from the very beginning. The most crucial element to understand if you're thinking of buying this capture card is your PC or notebook is Thunderbolt 3 or 4 compatible. Today I'll be running this on my Asus Zephyrus S17 which is Thunderbolt 4 compatible. External capture cards can be temperamental. So if you've just unboxed yours, take it step by step with me even if you've got all your gadgets plugged in but maybe seeing no lights on your Ava Media Bolt. So we've established your notebook or PC is going to have to be Thunderbolt 3 or 4 compatible. Keeping in mind the Thunderbolt 3 cable provided in the box is generally rather short and this capture card is going to have to be close to your PC or notebook. And you're going to have to rely on the length of your HDMI cables to create the distance between your recording device and your output monitor or TV. Now it's established that if you don't have a Thunderbolt 3 or 4 compatible machine, this capture card simply will not work with your device. It's important to note that Thunderbolt 3 and 4 ports look exactly the same as USB Type C ports, but these will not work. According to Ava Media's support page, you will also need to have a minimum of a 7th gen Intel i7 with 16 gigs of RAM and Nvidia GeForce GTX 1050 Ti or above. Alternatively, for a desktop, a 6th generation i5 and Nvidia GTX 1060 with a total of 8 gigs of VRAM for both to record in 4K 60. But note, the CPU requirements drop to record in 1080p. So if you're just planning on streaming in 1080p, you'll get away with the 4th gen i7 processor or the i5 on the desktop. Now before we proceed with the setup on the PS5 or 4, it's important to disable HDCP in settings, go to system, HDMI. This must be disabled or you will not proceed and gain any image in your recording software. Now making sure your Ava Media capture card is powered down by not having inserted the supplied Thunderbolt 3 cable, take the cable plugged into the back of your PS5 HDMI port and insert it into the HDMI in port on the Ava Media capture card. Now take the second HDMI cable and insert it into the out port of the Ava Media Live Gamer Bolt and the opposite end into the in port of your TV or monitor. Be sure to note that the TV or monitor that you're using is HDMI 2.0 or 2.1 compatible. Also note that the Ava Media Live Gamer Bolt can only output a HDMI 2.0 signal and there will be no significant improvements provided by using HDMI 2.1 cables. Once this is done, the last physical setup is taking the Thunderbolt 3 cable and plugging it into the back of the Ava Media capture card and the other end into a designated Thunderbolt port. This will be marked with a small Thunderbolt logo. Make sure not to insert it into a USB-C port Keep in mind, if done right, your Ava Media might still show no activity and no RGB. Next, open your Thunderbolt Control Center. If you are not seeing anything, don't threat yet. I encountered this exact problem and was 5 minutes away from shipping this card back as a DOA. So if you are not seeing anything in your Thunderbolt Control Center, open your Device Manager and scroll down to Sound, Video and Game Controllers and near the general tab, press the driver tab. Next, click update driver and I recommend you restart your PC or notebook having done this. If you are still seeing no activity on your Ava Media Live Gamer Bolt such as the RGB and it is not coming up in your Thunderbolt control center, don't threat yet. Next, go to avamedia.com and click on support. 
There you should see a tab to download Assist Central. Download and install that for your operating system and allow access from your firewall if you have to. Now Ava Media will detect and activate your capture card once you run this downloaded software and you should be prompted by various updates such as the driver for the Live Gamer Bolt and software, Rec Central. If you are running a Windows 11 computer, you will need to download software game utility and finally, it doesn't hurt to download the Diagnostic Tools V2. If you're still running into problems and your Assist Central is showing nothing is detected, close Assist Central and make sure to unplug the Thunderbolt cable and wipe it with a microcloth. This might seem like a last ditch effort, but I assure you, I encountered this. I literally had to unplug the notebook end of the Thunderbolt cable, wipe it with a microcloth and insert it again upside down, only to then receive the Windows prompt that a new device was connected. You should now see the Live Gamer Bolt detected in Ava Media Central. Select all the boxes and press installation and update. If you are still stuck, one final method I can suggest is turn off VRR and auto low latency on the PS5 and try and switch to your HDMI port in your monitor or TV from 2.1 to 2.0. Last recommendation I can recommend is a new Thunderbolt cable Mark of the 3. If you have still had no success to this point, it's important to also update your graphics drivers. Be aware, you might need to make sure your notebook is plugged in. As an example, my notebook switches to internal graphics and turns off the GPU without a wall outlet. And because the Thunderbolt Live capture card will do its encoding through your graphics card, it's important to make sure it's powered up and updated. Apply a restart once more if this was needed. If you still have not prevailed, try to run the Ava Media Diagnostic Tool. And don't freak if connecting takes over 2 minutes after pressing the Start to Diagnose Problem button. If a problem is diagnosed, please state it in the comments to better allow me to help you. On the very rare chance and the high demands of the Thunderbolt 3, if other devices such as external hard drives, RGB mouse pads and RGB keyboards or phantom power microphones are draining power away, it's worth one last attempt to unplug everything except for the Thunderbolt power supply cable and restart your system. However, this problem will most likely not be prevalent in a desktop setup. You may also want to try a different device such as your phone to determine if your Thunderbolt port on your device is faulty. If you are still encountering problems at this stage, your Ava Media Live Gamer Bolt may have been a returned item where the driver and the firmware may have been attempted to be updated and the power was unplugged during this process causing the device to brick. Alright, so now that we've opened up Rec Central, Capture and Stream, head over to the top left hand corner and click on the gear icon. This will take us into settings. Under the general tab, you may want to adjust your save pathway so you know where your recorded gameplay is being saved. You can also enable VSync to improve video smoothness. Under the shortcuts tab, you will be able to adjust your key bindings to stop start recording, stop start recording from microphone, take snapshots, add time marks and press the talk. I also recommend going into about and checking for updates to make sure you have the latest firmware. Next you want to go and locate your capture device Live Gamer Bolt and press on the edit button. Here you will be able to change your decode format. Keep in mind P10 is the only available decode format to be able to achieve HDR recording. However, if you are not using HDR, I recommend using YUI2 for the best possible bitrate. And if you are playing high fidelity games such as The Last of Us Part 1, you may want to use RGB24. If you have unchecked auto setup, you will be able to change your resolution to 1080p, 1440p or full 4K respectively. You can also change your refresh rate to 60, 5994, 50, 30 or lower. I opt to record with my refresh rate set to 59.94 as the Ava Media Live Gamer Bolt locates my input source as a 59.94 HDR signal. Now you are ready to start recording, but before we do, head over to the Record Quality tab and make sure you are set to Optimal. If your decode format is P0.10.0 and you wish to record in HDR, 
click on the HDR button and now you are able to record in full HDR. However, optimal recording quality may not actually be the highest bitrate you can achieve, especially if you are running higher spec hardware. To change the bitrate manually, head over to Record Quality and select New Record Profile. Then click Edit. Here you will be able to adjust settings manually, such as the codec, the format, HEVC profile, resolution, refresh rate, etc. For my machine, I found that the best recording is set with H265, the profile set to main, resolution in 4K, my refresh rate at 5994, and the video bitrate is set to 173, even though optimal sets this at 150. This also allows me to change keyframes to 5 seconds, as optimal would have it set on 2. And the audio channel may now be captured in 5.1 surround sound as opposed to two channel stereo, which also allows you to set a higher audio bitrate. In my experience, the codec profile set to high performance gives me the best quality tear free video recording. This will also reduce the available time because of the higher quality videos and the higher bitrate requirements. But now you are able to select HDR, remembering that you are using the P0.10.0 decode and you're ready to hit record. Get him. She couldn't have gotten far. We'll find her. Don't worry. Stubborn kid. Um, just so it's out there, I can't swim. Look, it looks like it's shallow on the right side. I'm glad Marlene hired you guys. What do you mean? I know you guys are getting paid for this, but... Shit. What happened? Don't worry, this is fixable. I got his help. But I can't come with you. Well, then I'm staying. Ellie, we won't get another shot at this. Hey, we're smuggling her? There's a crew of fireflies that'll meet you at the Capitol building. That's not exactly close. You're capable. You hand her off, come... Not funny! Give him hell! 
Uh. 